Just ordered your Eurodrive's E2100 variable frequency drive and can't wait to get it running? You're in the right place. Hi, I'm Keith from eMotors Direct, Canada's motor experts. In this quick start guide, I'll show you how to set up your E2100 so you can control your motor in no time. This is Eurodrive's Broad Voltage VFD with options for 115, 230, 460 and 575 voltage input. One of the defining factors of the E2100 Eurodrive BFT is its centerless vector control mode selection, which provides precise speed and torque control without requiring an external encoder. This makes it a cost-effective and reliable choice for applications requiring high performance motor control. Vector control with an encoder is also another mode selection. Automatic low audible noise mitigation, permanent magnet motor control mode, and the ability to special order them with the Reluctance Motor Control software. These drives are also nameplated for high overload applications, so you're never caught with higher than expected demands on torque. These are now available at eMotorsDirect.ca in up to 250 horsepower, shipping anywhere in Canada. These are very economically priced and they're ready to ship out right now. Contact us for help sourcing your next VFD. Let's get started with your setup. Find your wiring diagram in section 4.8 of your manual. On the following page, you'll find an overview of the control terminal. Once your drive is powered up, we can start setting the parameters. First, we'll set up for North America settings with your speed and frequency configurations. We'll set our minimum and maximum frequency to help prevent overloading and to protect your driven equipment. If your motor is rated for 60 Hertz, a common setting here would be 60 to 75 Hertz. Next, Let's set up the E2100 for your motor specifications. You'll find this information on your motor nameplate. We'll start by entering the motor's power. In North America, we use horsepower, so you'll probably find this as HP on your nameplate. However, most VFDs measure motor power in kilowatts, so you'll need to convert it. Take your horsepower and multiply it by 0.7457 to get your kilowatts value. Enter your value and save. Next, we'll add the motor voltage. Next, add your motor current. You might find this under FLA on your nameplate. Add the RPM that your motor is rated for. And now, add your motor frequency, usually 60 Hertz in Canada. Now, your BFD is set up for your specific motor. You can now control your motor with the BFD keypad. Run, change speed with the up and down keys, and stop. Variations to basic control strategy parameters are found under group two. Navigate to parameter F200, which allows you to set the main run source. Choose one for terminal input, two for keypad and terminal input, three for Modbus, or four for keypad, terminal, and Modbus. Select the option that fits your application. We can also set your motor rotation under F202. Set it to zero for forward or one for reverse based on your needs. We can configure how you want to control the motor. Parameter F208 is also a shortcut to some common preset control strategies for the control terminals. You can use the parameter as a hand auto selector as well. Reference the manual for these and other programming customization. And there you have it. Your Eurodrive E2100 BFD is ready for action. Whether it's for a pump, conveyor, or HVAC system, the E2100 has you covered. For more tips and resources, check out the link in the description. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your questions in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time where we'll cover the Eurodrive's E600 series.